We're back with more Weeglot language switchers. Look at these beautiful switchers, all built in Webflow. We'll show you how to implement these with Weeglot. Weeglot gives you everything you need to translate, display, and manage your multilingual website with full editing control. Say goodbye to language barriers in your web project with a reliable language translation tool. A few years ago, we partnered with Weeglot to bring you the clonable Weeglot UI kit. It was good, and it helped thousands of sites implement smooth language switcher UIs. But we made it better. We've partnered with Weeglot, and we bring you a brand new UI kit 2.0 in 2025. It's simplified, easier to implement, and it looks better. So we'll go over two types of language switchers in this video. We'll go over the simple switchers and the drop-down switchers. Simple switchers are perfect for quick language toggling. If you have two languages, simple switchers is ideal. We also have drop-down switchers. When you click on the language, a drop-down menu shows all the available languages on the site. This is better when you offer several languages. First, let's set up a simple switcher. I'm here in the clonable, and I can select any of these language switchers on the component wrapper. Go ahead and copy it, and then paste it to another project. There's a few things to understand. In the Webflow clonable, I can navigate to Site Settings, Custom Code, and see the Weeglot snippet. This snippet is given to you by Weeglot in your Weeglot dashboard. What you see on screen is our testing snippet with testing API key. Make sure you update this snippet with your unique API key. Copy directly from Weeglot dashboard and paste it into the project you want to use the language switchers. Next, you have to apply your languages. Each switcher has a link with the attribute lang equals language code. Here I have en for English, and make sure that you update each link's lang attribute to the correct value. On weeglot.com slash documentation slash available languages, you can find a list of supported language codes to use with Weeglot. Use the Webflow Styles panel to update the styles of your language switcher. These switchers are completely integrated with Webflow. The current state of the link should be styled to represent the current language. I can link to the home page, and when I do that on the switcher one link class, I see the current tag. And then I can go and apply CSS to the current state right here. And when I'm done styling the current state, I'll go ahead and remove the link to the home page. And now that current state will be saved. And when I switch to the current language, it will show that current state. It's important to know that some simple switchers have transitions. We kept these CSS based and very lightweight. Here in switcher four, we can see the line animating from left to right and right to left. This is a CSS animation. And to make it happen, we have an embed block inside the switcher component. This wonderfully simple CSS snippet is making that smooth transition possible. We applied the same logic in example 10 with the button toggle. Here's a CSS snippet, and this is what makes the switcher have the smooth transition. Okay, that's it for simple switchers. Now let's move on to drop-down menus. Now, these drop-downs are just as easy. Uh, they just require a few additional steps. First, we need to add the UIKit.js file to the page. This JS file is only needed for drop-down switchers. You do not need it for the simple switchers. Next, let's go over the attributes placed on the drop-down elements. We'll start with the drop-down element itself. We have the attribute Weeglot equals drop-down. One level down, we have the toggle element, and we have the lang attribute here. Make sure to update this lang value with your site's primary language. In this example, we have lang equals en because English is the primary language. For all other link items in the dropdown, 
change the lang attribute to your site's languages. And lastly, let's click on the text to see weglot equals text, and then the flag icon to see weglot equals flag. You should not touch these. I'm just showing you that they're here and they're required. We highly recommend using SVG files for your flag icons in this setup. Great, that's all we have for you today. In the description of this video, you'll find resources for this video, including the Clonable UI Kit 2.0. Happy translating and enjoy your new language switcher power.